Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I thought it would be fun to do a tier ranking of the bullet journal themes that I made for this year. I did this last year and it was a lot of fun. It's always fun to just kind of look back and see where my creativity took me this year and if it turned out how I wanted it to. So I have my handy dandy laptop here and I made a little tier thing. I'm going to screen record so that you can see what I'm seeing and then we're going to start ranking. I'm just going to go through each of the themes and then we'll just rank them. My rankings are as follows. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Close to perfect. I mean it's okay. Yikes and why. Just why. So hopefully none fall in that why category. <laughs> um, but even as I was just taking pictures of all of these themes, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I did that. So the first theme of the year, I'll just make it big so that you can see it, was January. I did this kind of florally, sketchy doodly type of theme. Um, and I really like how this one turned out. It was also my 2023 setup theme. And I think this one was, and you know what, I'm gonna say 10 out of 10 would, rec would recommend because it was really easy to do and it just looked really cohesive and I, I really enjoyed the colors. I think it turned out nice. Okay, February. February I did this kind of cloud sun moon theme and I think it didn't quite turn out exactly how I wanted it to. Um, I had this vision of like doing a cutout behind the moon with the planets and that's what I did and then I realized that I wouldn't be able to put anything else on that other page and it was just kind of a waste of a page and it was just I just didn't think it through all the way and so it didn't turn out quite as good as I wanted it to but I still like the theme overall and so I'm gonna say this one is close to perfect because it was it was almost there it was close March this theme was really fun this was a picnic theme and I actually ended up reusing this theme in the bullet journal I made for my mother-in-law. I make her a bullet journal every single year for her school year. And I ended up using it in that journal as well because I loved it so much. So this one is definitely a 10 out of 10 recommend because it was so easy and simple to do. And I love how it turned out. I think it turned out so, so cute. Okay, April. What do we got here for April? Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's funny about this theme is that on this cover page here, I accidentally drew everything upside down. I didn't realize my bullet journal was upside down. And then I was like, I, and I had done it all in pencil. And then I was like, I'm not gonna go through and erase and redraw everything. So I just left half of it upside down and then made the other half right side up. But I think it kind of worked for this like, um, doodly, witchy, magical vibe that I was going for. I do think this one turned out cute. It was pretty simple. Um, I put some axolotls in there, some butterflies. You know what? I did I did really like this one. And I was able to use some supplies in this setup that I hardly ever use. And so that was good for that reason because um yeah, that way they they got some use out of them. I don't really use those supplies very often. Now, May. Unfortunately, this one for me, I think is going to go in yikes. And this was a peach theme. I just watched the Super Mario Bros. movie, which I loved, by the way, <laughs> and, you know, I just, it just didn't turn out how I wanted it to, and I think it ended up looking a lot busier than I wanted it to, and so, you know, I was going for this, like, oh, it's in the background thing, but I don't know. It just didn't, it, it's just too much, and also, I didn't have any peach-colored markers, and so it kind of... I don't know, they kind of look like oranges. It just, it just wasn't exactly what it could have been. So it's gonna go in yikes. June, I love this theme. This theme, I 10 out of 10 would, would recommend easily because it turned out so cute. I love the yellow, I love the clouds. I think it was so much fun. And the only thing I regret about this theme is that I didn't use it very much. And I only ended up making like two more spreads with this theme because I was really busy. So. That's my only regret. July, I did not do a bullet journal setup. We um, got this house and we were doing a ton of renovation. We were, it was the middle of the summer. I had just found out that I was pregnant. Um, yeah, there was a lot that went on in July and I didn't open my bullet journal at all. So there's no setup for July, unfortunately. But there is one for August. And this one was this lighthouse theme. 
this one was pretty simple, and I think it was okay. Um, I don't love it, but I don't hate it, so I'm going to put it in, I mean, it's okay. Because I, th I think it's fine, but it's not like my favorite theme I've ever done. It doesn't really stand out to me, but I also don't hate it, so it's not a yikes. Um, okay. August. There we go. September. This theme was a You've Got Mail theme, my favorite movie, and um, I think it's 10 out of 10 would recommend. I think it turned out so cute. I was able to use my Tombow Dual Brush Pen Cottage Set for the first time for this theme setup, and I loved using those, and I don't know, I just think it turned out fun and fresh and cute, so I really like that one. October. This one is good. I enjoy the way it looks. Uh, I think the ghosties are fun. It's pretty basic. So I'm gonna put it in close to perfect. Because, you know, it's nothing special, but it, it but it's still nice. You know what I mean? Wow, we are just cruising through here. November! I really liked this one. Um, I loved the way this, like, wallpaper, uh, pattern, I guess, turned out. I, it took me a long time. But I ended up doing it on like multiple pages throughout the month and like my weeklies and stuff because I just love the way that it looks and it was so fun with like the little stars in the book and stuff and I just think that it really matches my personality. So that one's going to go in a 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Okay, last month. This is December. This is my most recent setup. I love this one. I love it. I think the dinos turned out so adorable. Dinos at Christmas. I mean, yes. Just yes. So I think that's also going to go in a 10 out of 10 recommend. I am happy with the way this looks, list looks here because, you know, how often is it that you have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 out of the 11, because I didn't do July, are in the top tier for me. That's a success. Last year, my setups didn't go that well, um, <laughs> as well as this. I think they still went well generally, but yeah and only have one in yikes like that's a win that is a win for me so if you're curious about any of these setups i will put all of them in the description box so you can watch any of them and this was a lot of fun thank you for tier ranking my bullet journal setups with me i enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video bye